Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing another devotion. Have you ever coveted, you know, you wanted something somebody else had? Have you ever coveted for a swimming pool and you got it? And then, boy, the bills, oh man, keeping that thing maintained and, and the water bill went up and all that. And then the kids don't even use it. Uh huh. Have you ever coveted a, a trampoline? I know, man, a lot of families, you know, especially around Christmas time, and all the children want a trampoline because that's what their friend has, only to have those winds come about April and that trampoline is about three doors down on top of a house. Well, but maybe you coveted uh, somebody's uh, possessions. You know, oh, I wish I had this. I had some friends that, oh, they were kind of always bragging. Look at the new ring. You know, the lady always showing that uh, new ring that she had. And they got new cars and uh, a new house. And later they got a divorce. Only to find out every time she was bragging about, look what my husband gave me. You know, what was happening was, yeah, he was giving her a ring. He was giving her a car, but he was also giving her the payment book at the same time. See, we need to be very careful when we covet things because we might actually get it that's where the trouble is and so that scripture there in exodus 20 and exodus 20 verse 17 it says you shall not covet your neighbor's house because you might get it you shall not covet your neighbor's wife well guess what you might get her uh, or his male or female servants. Boy, that's going to be a lot of extra pressure there. His ox or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Well, my neighbors don't have that much. That's okay. But do you covet when you watch TV? Huh? I think HGTV ought to be thrown off of the planet. I mean, because how many people look at those houses, look at those vacation spots, you know? Oh, man, I want that. And lo, lo and behold, I'd like to go back and see some research. How many people actually kept those houses? How many people wanted all that remodeling? How many could pay for all that remodeling? So think about that. All these things, a house, the wife or husband, uh, servants and ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to somebody else. Because see, God has something just for you. I ask the, that's the wonderful thing about it. That's why you don't want us to covet. Because see, a lot of times when we covet it, we're thinking, well, God is treating them better than He's treating us. You know, guess what? God gave them, and that's it. God has given them uh, sometimes things they've asked for, and it didn't work out too good. Maybe God has blessed them for a reason, but God is blessing you. Be thankful for what you have. Because you might get what somebody else didn't want. I, I just think about it. I love to go to yard sales. It's, a, it's interesting to see what people are selling. Because then I, I realize a lot of this stuff at yard sale is what people coveted. They had to have it. And maybe wore it one or two times. Think about it. Just be thankful for what God has already given you. Let's pray. Father, forgive us. We do get selfish. And we like to compare even with other believers. Why did they get that and you gave me this? But Lord, you gave us exactly what we needed at that time. Lord, forgive us for coveting and let us keep our eyes on you and be thankful for all that you've blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen. I think there's another devotional somewhere that tells us to be thankful. It changes our attitude. Let's be thankful today that it changes our eyes and stop looking other places and just look to the Lord.